to Geekology. Did you know weird stuff? Right, so, oh, the pained look on Sven's face is always good. Okay, so I'll introduce them and then you can cringe, okay? Okay. Right, so these are the Dome series that were released by Franklin Mint in the late 90s. The only way you could get these was through the, the catalogue and the flyers. And late the... 90s? Yes, these were late 90s. They look, they, they, they don't look late 90s to me. They look a lot earlier than late 90s to me. I, I tell okay. you what, I tell you what, hang on, hang on, I, I will prove it. There you go, 1996, this one, limited edition. So the, undis the Undiscovered Country one, based on the film from 1991, was done in 96? Yes. When are we stated then? So this <laughs> is K7, 96 makes sense for that one, yeah, 96, because that's when Trials and Tribulations was done. Yeah. Uh, Botany Bay, 96. Sven, I think all of these ones are the late ones. Cause... The main Enterprise one is 94. These are my spares. Okay. But I take it that was the first one that was released. Yes. It was 94. So yeah. they started releasing them in 94 and then going on. Yeah, they went yeah, on for okay. a while. Yeah. So that's yeah. quite a few. These yeah. are just the ones I have out on display due to the fact I didn't really want to go up and dig in the attic to get okay. out my actual collection. Um, but this is a nice cross section of them as well because you have the one like this one, for instance, which I consider to be one of the best of the series because if you hold it up to the light, it's right, translucent. So, yeah. so when these are backlit, it's quite fantastic. Cool. It's a nice little rendition of the ship. Little for the, the top, well, yeah, but it's Fourth perspective. perspective yeah. yeah, yeah. So the only downside to the uh, they're fragile. Hmm. Not just the, the domes, but the diorama sets on the inside, very well, they were very easy yeah. to break. It's been a while since I broke one. Yeah. I think crossed I won't do it again. The, the thing I objected to them is not all the renditions of the ships are as good as they could be, right. but that's due to size. Yeah. And things like the planets, when you see them from the front or above, fine, but side on, Mm. Hmm. But again, with the they're trying to do quite a lot in quite now, a interesting because I'm looking at the ship renditions and the F toys and other Japanese gacha type versions of the Enterprise are better, but they're significantly later. Yeah, that one, for instance, does stick out like a sore thumb, but these ones are so small it's very difficult. But that bird of prey, mm. I mean, the Romulan bird of prey, that was really, really nicely done. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I think the shuttlecraft is really mm. well done as well because the font in all the way along the And that's for the, the Star Trek Six one. Is it, is it me or are those nacelles a bit splayed on the Enterprise? The, yeah, to be fair, they yeah. are. Now, these, these. Look how pretty the blue is. Look how pretty the blue is. <clears throat> um, Sorry. My problem with these is the fact that the actual diorama parts themselves make me think of the Leonardo collection. Oh wow, yeah. Uh, which was a low, low price point, low cost, chintzy collectible for grandmothers. These um, were cheap and cheerful for their time. So, you know, it's the same with all the Franklin Mint stuff. It's kind of cool, it's kind of kitsch, but... Mm. Yeah, it was never something I'd... be honest, I'd never, never really jumped really into the... No. I think the only thing you really liked was... You liked the commissioning plaques. Yes, yes, because that was full scale, properly done, let's make an actual replica. I think you quite liked the pewter ships when they were out, but over time you've started to hate them because they warp. Yeah, which is ironic. The absolutely, These starships warp and they fall off their own stands. The absolutely um, lovely... Enterprise and Enterprise D, they did the, the enamel the ones. Big, yeah. Gorgeous, but, castings, not, but don't, they're not value for money. This is the problem, is, is when you look at that and you go, well, that was a £250 model. Yeah, they were Or I could do an Ertl one. I don't know, you see, I, I really love them. Mm. 
But you see, the, th the trouble is, we're now looking at collectibles like this with the value of hindsight. Yeah, 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 completely. When there was nothing else out, mm. these were amazing. Once you've got 30 years worth of merchandise, it yeah. starts looking a little... Because the thing is, I mean, you've got to bear in mind, we're both in our early 40s. Star Trek has just celebrated its 50th anniversary. And you say celebrated. <laughs> Had a stab at it. Yeah. So we are now looking at 40 years solid mm. of merchandise of varying quality. And Mostly the trouble is, terrible, let's be honest. But the trouble is, the quality of the stuff we're getting now is so good. Yeah, that it's got quantum it. mechanics. Yeah. I mean, their ships are ridiculous. <laughs> it's so. just so, uh, yeah. But I do think these deserve a place in the mention. They just don't deserve a Geekology episode. They no, only deserve no. a weird stuff because I do think these class as weird stuff. I don't see any fan today Correct. going, I want the whole set. I think they'll go, well, I really like the, the one, sh one yeah. or the two. So, yeah. yeah. But from my personal point of view, I nearly completed the whole collection. Not quite. I'm You're not going to be to find that Borg one, are you? The Borg one? Oh, the uh, Encant... Yeah. Uh, yeah, no. Best, Best of, of Both, both worlds. worlds. Yeah, no. Oh, that was that was a shockingly bad one. <laughs> right, so well, th those are our opinions. We'd love to hear yours. Please leave them in the section below. You can subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can follow us on both Facebook and Twitter. And of course, there is the official Geekology website. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Bye. Yeah, I mean the Excelsior looks like the Excelsior, um, and they're all terrible. Um, <laughs> what's yeah, going but the on? The Enterprise A. The Enterprise A. Yeah, look at the Enterprise A and these amazing nacelles at two different angles. Um, what's going on with the nacelles? I'm sure, we'll show you some photos. We will show you photos. Yeah. Um, it looks like it's taken a it's taken a shot right in the middle of the nacelle. But no, the, the pylons look like they're all the idea of doing this. Um, <laughs> let's go from where we were very good. Flash. Three, two. Sorry, Eddie, too, Sam. Three, two.